Welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about refractive index of water using convex lens and plane mirror. Okay. The operators required for this experiment are meter scale, stand, object pin, a sharp object pin, plane mirror and convex lens. So using this convex lens and plane mirror we can able to find out the refractive index of water. The principle I am making use of is that is the, the combination of focal length of lenses using thin lens formula. So what it says the reciprocal of focal length of combination of the lenses the reciprocal of focal length of combination of the lenses is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of focal length of individual lenses. Yes. Formula. The focal length of the lens formed by water FW is equal to F F dash divided by F minus F dash. So I am uh, writing a direct formula. I, I apply this formula with the help of combination of thin lenses. Where F refers to the focal length of convex lens. F dash refers to the focal length of combination of glass lens and liquid lens and we have one more formula that is to find out the refractive index of water nw is equal to 1 plus r divided by fw so nw is the refractive index of water r is the radius of curvature of convex lens that we are using and fw is the focal length of water so let's proceed with the experiment refractive index of water using convex lens and plane mirror so we have two situations here, two trials, one using water, the other one without water. So here let us observe this diagram. AB is the object pin I am making use. We have a plane mirror which is placed over which to place the convex lens. So when we observe this object pin in this convex lens, so the narrow beam of light falls on the convex lens and passes to the uh, passes to the plane mirror and gets reflected back. So at the exact position where a dash b dash the image is formed. So the value corresponds to this from here to the plane mirror. The value corresponds to f. That is the focal length of convex lens. In the second trial, we will drop a few droplets of water will be dropped on the plane mirror over which we place the convex lens. So now the combination of lenses is formed. One of glass lens, the other one is a water lens. So the water lens will be plano convex lens. So in this case, in this case, what happens when we place the lens over the water droplet and we observe the image of that uh, point object or object pin appears to be enlarged. So now what we need to do? We need to rise the object pin or the stand and adjust in such a way that the object pin, uh, the image exactly coincides with the object pin as seen in this diagram. So here you see AP is the object pin and the image form I call it as A double dash B double dash so the image formed in case of the combination of lenses one water lens and the glass lens this really the distance from the lens to the object we call it as F dash so you have just completed the experiment here you can see the observation the radius of curvature of e convex lens given r is equal to we have calculated it already 13.2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters so now without water the focal length of convex lens f we need to find out with water the focal length of convex lens combination we have to find out so then calculation 
for the refractive index of water. Let's start with the experiment. So here is the apparatus and we have the setup, the stand over which I have placed the plane mirror of the reflecting side upwards or uh, over that I have placed this convex lens. If you observe this object pin through that lens it appears to be enlarged. It appears to be enlarged. So for the first value f what I am going to do is I am rising this upwards and to a height such that the size of the object the size of the object should match with the size of the image which is seen in which is seen in the convex lens so this value uh, I have raised it to a height so what is happening here is avoiding the parallax the size of the object pin is mid uh, is exactly equal to the size of the image pin image pin formed in the convex lens let's have a look Okay, so using the meter scale, we will measure this value. Using the meter scale, we will measure the value. This corresponds to 12.7. The value corresponds to 12.7. That's our F. For F dash, Take the lens away. Let's drop a few droplets of water over the mirror. And place the lens. So if we observe this, the image of the object pin in the combination of glass lens and liquid lens appears to be enlarged it's coming out to be enlarged so what we need to do is let's rise this to a certain height in such a way that the size of the image formed in the liquid should be equal to the size of the object yes at this height so the pointer of image pin should be coinciding with the pointer of the object pin so this let's measure this value and this value corresponds to f dash let's have a look at this Okay. Let's measure this value. So this value is coming out to be 18.5 centimeters. So f dash we got f value and also the f dash value. Let's proceed with the calculations. So we got the focal length of convex lens as 12.7 centimeter and focal length of 
lens combination as 18.5 centimeter or centimeter per minus 2 meters. So now let's find out first FW. So FW is equal to F F dash divided by F minus F dash. So the value 12.7 into 18.5 whole divided by 12.7 minus 18.5 so FW we get the value of FW as 40.5 and calculating this we get the value 40.5 of course, this comes out to be negative centimeter. So we get the value FW. Let's find out the refractive index of water using the formula NW is equal to 1 plus R divided by FW. So 1 plus R we have 13.2 and whole divided by minus 40.5 centimeter but I only take the magnitude that is 40.5 so on solving this on solving this we get the value 1.326 we get the value 1.326 6 uh, the refractive index NW you don't have any unit it's a unit it's a unit less and dimensional less quantity you know that uh, we know the exact value of refractive index of water is 1.33 so within the experimental errors we got the exact uh, we got the nearest value it is 1.326 so finally I write result Ri of water is equal to one point three two six. Okay. So thank you everyone.